This video will show you how to create a calculated inventory count. Once a count date and interval are entered on an item record, NetSuite will use them to calculate when an inventory count is required. You can also add a classification to sort the list and create inventory counts according to your selected classification. You can create an inventory count by navigating to Transactions, Inventory, Create Inventory Count. In this screen, select a subsidiary and allocation. Enter the count start date and end date. This will display the items that require a count on or before the date specified in these fields. To include items with an on hand zero count, check the count beans rows with zero quantity checkbox. To sort the item list by bin number, check the sort rows by bin checkbox. Select an account to post inventory count variances to. This will usually be an expense account. Check the box under the select column for the item you wish to count. and click Submit. Once the inventory count has started status, you can enter the count quantity based on the physical count for each item. For this, click Edit and enter these quantities. Enter the count detail. and click Save. To complete the inventory count, click on Complete Inventory Count. The inventory count will have a pending approval status until a supervisor approves or rejects it and will display the quantity to be adjusted. If the inventory count is approved, two inventory adjustments will be created, one with a negative quantity and one with a positive quantity.
these inventory adjustments can be found under the history subtab, inventory adjustments. This is the inventory adjustment with the negative quantity. And this one with the positive quantity. If the inventory count is rejected, the record returns to start status and another count must be conducted. Please note that new inventory counts cannot be started for items on started inventory counts.